Here's the tea on Soho House, and it is piping hot. Last week, Glasshouse Research, which dubs itself as a research firm determined to expose fraudulent companies, published a damning report on Soho House saying that it's never been profitable and essentially making a case for short sellers. And as part of a response, Soho House publicly announced that it is considering a take private deal, aka no longer being listed on the New York Stock Exchange. And the company also recently announced that it won't be taking any new members in LA, New York, and London, and is also developing a new club in London's Mayfair to address crowd complaints. All of this highlights the fact that membership clubs are inherently a dysfunctional business model. Because what the members want, which is a sense of community and intimacy, contrasts what investors want, which is to scale new members and locations in order to reach profitability. I recently interviewed Annabelle Schwartz, who used to lead West Coast memberships at So House and member relations at San Vicente Bungalows on the podcast. And she gave a lot of interesting and maybe controversial insights as someone who's had experience on the operation side. We also talked about why exclusivity sells and how there's currently more supply in members clubs than there is demand. It's episode 21 on the podcast. Have a listen and let me know what you guys think.